It was an organization of American colonists, founded in Boston, Massachusetts in 1765, and formed to protect the rights of colonists and to fight taxation by the British. They are the Sons of Liberty. In 1765, the British government needed a way to afford the soldiers and officers that were stationed in the colonies. Their idea came by way of levying a series of taxes, most notably the Stamp Act of 1765. Needless to say, many of the colonists were not happy and argued they shouldn't be held accountable for taxes that weren't decided by their own representatives. This was the idea behind no taxation without representation. Now, as frustrations grew, the group of elite men, originally known as the Loyal Nine, merged with other notable figures into what we know today as the Sons of Liberty. Known members are Samuel Adams, second cousin to John Adams, Joseph Warren, dispatcher of Paul Revere and William Dawes, and their ride, warning of the British troops, Paul Revere, one of the main organizers of the intelligence and alarm system, keeping tabs on the British military, Benedict Arnold, successful Revolutionary War general turned traitor, Benjamin Eds, one of the main financiers of the Boston Tea Party, John Hancock, second president of the Continental Congress, Patrick Henry, famous for the phrase, give me liberty or give me death, John Lamb, who wrote articles helping spread the revolutionary cause in the colonies, William McKay, Boston merchant, Alexander McDougall, New England merchant, James Otis, who coined the phrase, taxation without representation is tyranny, Benjamin Rush, founder of Dickinson College in Pennsylvania, Isaac Sears, a New York merchant, Chaim Solomon, a wealthy merchant and financier of the American Revolution. James Swan wrote many articles in opposition to the British Crown. Charles Thompson, one of the original designers of this great seal of the United States. Thomas Young, the only member of the Boston Tea Party to not wear a disguise. Marinus Willett, exceptional military man and cabinet maker. Oliver Walcott erected a shed on his estate where more than 40,000 bullets were cast. In 1767, these men adopted a flag with nine vertical stripes, five red and four white, called the Rebellious Stripes Flag. The role of the Sons of Liberty was effective in undermining British rule and helped pave the way to American independence. They disbanded shortly after the close of the American Revolution. (laughs) 